This is Jupiter Today for the 17th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. From zero hours 21 minutes to zero hours 24 minutes, Ganymede occults Europa. It's a 3.5 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.817 arc seconds and a very shallow occultation, 0.062 magnitudes and 61.53 arc seconds from Jupiter. The visibility of this event is Western Europe, Western Africa, South America, and the Eastern half of North America. And then from 249 to 257 UTC, Ganymede eclipses Europa, and that's a 8.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.165 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.465 magnitudes. And Europa is 94.63 arc seconds from Jupiter and Ganymede and Europa are 63.36 arc seconds apart. And as you can see, Ganymede is on the Earth side of Jupiter, and Europa is on the far side of Jupiter, so that's a nice long shadow. At 3.43 UT3, Io goes through an apogee, and that's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 423,542.8 kilometers. And then at 538 UTC, the transit of Ganymede begins. And at 557 UTC, Ganymede goes through a perigee. That's the closest that's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 1,068,092.5 kilometers. And by six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east, and Ganymede is transiting. At 8.40 UTC, Callisto goes through a perigee, the closest it's going to be to Jupiter, this orbit, and that's 1,869,130.4 kilometers. And then at 8.51 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter, at 9.05 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. And at 9.15, the transit of Ganymede ends. And by 12 hours UTC, Eos has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. And Ganymede has successfully transited and is now in quadrant three, heading west. At 12.01 UTC, Eo reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. And at 12.43 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede egresses. At 18 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant one, heading east, near its eastern elongation. And Europa has passed its, its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. And by zero hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west, along with Europa. Ganymede's in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto continues in quadrant three, heading west. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. Here's Io, and Europa, and Ganymede, and Callisto. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all these and colorize them and remove the orbital lines to get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter sky, sitting on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds. Gonna see what's happening in Jupiter's sky over the next 24 hours. A 
goes Ganymede between the Sun and Jupiter. It marks the transit from our point of view. There's Eo in Europa in quadrant two. Looks like Eo is going to catch up to Europa, but at this longitude, we won't see that. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 9.35 and the second at 19.31 UTC. There's a new image posted. Well, there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere this is a right ascension of 9 hours, 3 minutes, 45.1 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 47 minutes, 58.3 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth today, is 137.317 degrees, and that's 1.067 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 7.252 degrees and that's 0.15 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 683,647,541 kilometers and that's 1,612,462 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 67,185.92 kilometers per hour moving apart and that's 1,385.71 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday and the distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,429,399 kilometers and that's 44,696 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday that gives a radial velocity of 1,862.33 kilometers per hour, and that's 1.8 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. Central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 27.4 degrees, CM2, 110.64 degrees, CM3, 29.34 degrees. Time of this recording is 1.46 UTC on the 17th of March, 2015. So please subscribe and like this video. Thank you to all those who have subscribed and are watching. Hope this video is informative and interesting and gives you different perspectives on a very dynamic system. You can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.